Okay, let's jump back into the anterior shoulder because there's one thing I want you guys to, to notice and appreciate about the anterior shoulder that I was shocked about when I first heard it, which is the shoulder blade has front anterior attachments. So let's get to the meat remover, okay? So this bone right here, if I can tap it perfectly, the green one to the inside is the coracoid process. Now what's interesting about it, you can see it has a few attachments. It has the pec minor, I'm using slang terms, short head of the bicep, and if I hide that, you'll see underneath it the coracobrachialis. There's no good slang term for that one, okay? So those all attach to the scapula, the coracoid process. Now if I go back to it and remove even more meat, do, 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 do. Okay, actually all of it, right? If you flip around, you'll see again, it's like, a, it's like a little nipple that just hangs off. And if you flip it around, there's the posterior side of it, okay? Flip around to here. So as we, before we get into like sports injuries with slap tears and in anterior impingements, we need to just appreciate the fact that there are anterior attachments that are in and around this section, Okay, next, I was thinking of the subscapularis, which is this guy right here, another anterior attachment that is often not thought of. Um, but for right now, let's just go ahead and give the coracoid process its, its, its shine for the day. And let me remove the meat, get my meat remover one more time. Sorry, I'm still figuring this thing out. Meat remover, all of it. Give one more glimpse at the coracoid process. Let's ooh and ah and call today. All right. Anyways, I will be off social media on Mondays. So if you have any questions, throw them in the comments and I will be back on Tuesday. Have a great week.